Because Kamala cannot showcase her abysmal record, tomorrow night she will resort to trafficking in the usual smears that didn't work for Biden. Now, she's going to lie that Trump encouraged violence on January 6th when he said, in fact, go in peace. She's going to lie about Charlottesville and what he said about veterans, despite repeated fact checks. She's going to lie about how the illegal, the illegal cases against Donald Trump are fair and they show that he's untrustworthy when we know that they never would have gone after him if he had retired from politics. She's going to lie, of course, about her record on the economy and claim that she's created all these jobs when most, of course, have bounce back jobs from COVID or, of course, they went to foreign workers. And she's going to lie that Trump's policies will cause more inflation when we know that he's going to bring down the cost of energy, which will bring down inflation. She's going to lie that she's tough on crime when we know that the migrant crime explosion is destroying our neighborhoods. She'll lie that the immigration bill that was uh, engineered by Schumer and Jim Langford would have fixed the border crisis and that Trump killed it for political reasons. And she's going to lie that she's the candidate for change when she's just another puppet of the failed establishment. In a dazzling display of curiosity and skepticism, I asked ChatGPT to do the impossible. Fact check the high octane conspiracy laden rant from none other than Fox News own maestro of melodrama, Laura Ingraham. Yes, the same Laura who can turn any mundane policy discussion into a high-stakes apocalypse. This time, her target was Kamala Harris, whom she accused of lying about everything from the economy to Trump's never-ending legal saga. You know, because obviously, it's not a normal day unless Kamala is taking credit for every job ever created or plotting a massive inflation takeover. Naturally, Ingram's monologue is dripping with predictions of the vice president's supposed talking points which are likely, in her universe, pre-packaged in a deceit factory somewhere. According to the prophecy, Harris will undoubtedly lie about Trump encouraging violence on January 6th, even though, wait for it, Trump told his followers to go in peace. Ah, yes, a timeless gesture of peace, best exemplified by an enraged mob storming the Capitol. Experts, courts, and anyone with functioning eyesight have repeatedly pointed out that Trump's speech had, shall we say, mixed messaging. But why bother with nuance when you can paint everything in broad strokes of martyrdom? Next, Ingram triumphantly declares that Harris will lie about Charlottesville. Remember when Trump said there were very fine people on both sides at a rally that featured tiki torches and literal Nazis? Well, it turns out this comment is still up for debate in the magical land of Fox, where fact-checking is an Olympic sport, but nobody seems to be going for the gold. As for Trump's never-ending legal battles, the argument here is that Kamala is just another cog in the deep state machine, twisting justice to take down the one man standing between America and total anarchy. Harris's claim that these cases are legitimate well, that's just another lie, because as we all know, nothing screams innocent like four separate indictments, a Mar-a-Lago-sized treasure trove of evidence, and a legal team working overtime. On to the economy, where Harris is apparently puffing her chest about post-pandemic jobs. Ingraham conveniently skips over the part where the U.S. Scott economy was on life support during the COVID-19 lockdowns and jumps, right to accusing Harris of taking credit for bounce-back jobs. Because, naturally, the idea of post-pandemic recovery is a foreign concept to the Fox News universe. Never mind that the administration has actually implemented infrastructure policies that help create new jobs. Because who has time for those pesky details when there's a narrative to push? And of course, there's the immigration boogeyman. Harris is allegedly lying about being tough on crime, all while secretly allowing migrant crime to destroy neighborhoods a claim that's about as well-founded as a house of cards in a windstorm. Research shows immigrants are actually less likely to commit crimes than native-born citizens. But hey, why let facts ruin a perfectly good fear-mongering fest? Finally, there's the immigration bill, co-engineered by the formidable team of Chuck Schumer and Jim Lankford. According to Ingram, this was the magical fix for the border crisis that Trump selfishly torpedoed for political gain. If only it were that simple. But like most immigration reform efforts, it faced more roadblocks than a Sunday drive through Washington traffic. In conclusion, if you're tuning into Ingraham for your news, bring a grain of salt. Actually, make that a whole shaker. 
Kamala Harris may not be perfect, but the exaggerations spewing from Fox News' echo chamber seem to outpace reality itself.